All right, it's beginning to look a lot like you know what. Yeah, tonight, the city of Jacksonville making it official, flipping the switch on the city's Christmas tree downtown at James Weldon Johnson Park. A lively crowd turned out for the tradition that's been the center of Jacksonville's holiday festivities for decades. The city's Christmas tree lighting this year helps celebrate the city's art walk back for the holidays at James Weldon Johnson Park. Good Christmas vibes going on. Lots of gifts being bought and sold. Family walking around. Good day. Those in the crowd applaud the chance to be out and about feeling festive and finally getting back to art walk this season. To have Art Wall back is great. It's a joyous occasion each and every time, and particularly within the last year or so, not really being able to be out and assemble. This is the perfect time and the perfect opportunity. Everyone's just out here having a good night, having fun. So it's been, it's been a good uh, moment to have, especially with all the COVID going around. We found one artist selling her jewelry who says Art Walk at the holidays is about opportunity and community healing. Growing up, I would always come down here and ride my bike and check out all the artists. So it's just really inspiring and exciting to be part of the artist lineup here. And having it back during the holidays is just amazing, especially after the year we went through last year. City Council President Sam Newby hosted the tree lighting along with his wife and his family. The city's tree is 56 feet tall, more than 78,000 LED lights, 150 ornaments, and it's been a centerpiece in downtown's Christmas tradition for the last 33 years. It used to pop up at the Jacksonville Landing when crowds packed in along the St. John's for the annual celebration. That was, of course, before the landing disappeared.